Uh, it's 12 minutes to eight. Now, uh, Boris Johnson's Brexit deal is, for now, on hold after MPs rejected his plan to fast-track it through Parliament in just a few days. Yeah, some MPs believe the proposed three-day timetable wasn't enough time to allow a debate of all the details. Let's talk to the Shadow Justice Secretary, Richard Birkin, who's in Westminster for us. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining morning, us on Naga. the programme. Good morning, how are you? Very well, thank you. Um, well, how did you vote yesterday? I voted against the Tories. Uh, rotten deal, a deal that would be bad for workers' rights and so many other things. And then I voted to say that it was ridiculous that Parliament was only going to get a couple of days to scrutinise this very important piece of legislation. Just as an example, the wild animals in the circuses bill, we were given 11 days to discuss that, quite right too, a very important bill. But to say that we're just going to be given a couple of days to deal with this complex and important Brexit legislation was, to be frank, a bit of an insult to democracy. A bit of further time is needed to be agreed between uh, the opposition and the government to look at this properly and deal with it in a sensible way. How many days do you need, do you think, to debate this bill? What's reasonable? Well, I think it could be done uh, in a matter of weeks. It's not for me to uh, decide, but I don't think it needs to be in, in an ordinate uh, length of uh, time. But a couple of days is ridiculous. Well, what what are you saying then? Three weeks? Because you, you, you're quite emphatic saying that three days is not enough. So what is enough? Well, that's, that's now for the chief whip of the government and the chief whip uh, of the Labour Party to negotiate and agree something uh, between them. Yeah, but what do you uh, in, think? In the usual way. I, I think the delay doesn't need to be for a long length of time, the delay. But what I would say is this. One of my colleagues, Carl Turner, made this point yesterday, one of the MPs, and a really important point. He said he was reminded yesterday that it took him longer to decide which sofa to buy than the government intended to give us to decide whether or not to back their Brexit bill or amend it or the rest of it. It's not sensible. It's not ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We can't be playing these cheap games. So it needs to be looked at properly. Richard Birkin, how long is reasonable? Three weeks? You say a few weeks. Come on, let's be specific because this is what this is what we want to hear now. We want to hear some absolute numbers. How many how many days do you need to debate this bill? 110 pages. Well, I'm not going to put the exact number of days. I don't think, actually, I don't think, by the way, that people out there, their main concern this morning is whether we need uh, three weeks or two and a half weeks to look at the bill uh, or seven days or 20 days. What people are concerned about is the danger uh, to the economy, the danger to workers' rights, and the fact that Brexit is dragging on. And one of the reasons that this matter is dragging on is because the government has put uh, <coughs> a stop on the progression of the bill. The second reading was passed in Parliament, we voted against it, uh, but the government isn't proceeding with it at the moment. They could be. So actually it's the government that's behaving in a strange way, uh, not uh, the other uh, political parties. But we need to get this sorted. And it's not just Brexit that needs to be sorted. It's the whole nine years of the crises created by the Tories, housing, homelessness, so, uh, wages, uh, job insecurity, austerity and public services. And that's why we need a general election as well. I tell you, uh, yeah, well, let's move on to the general election. You and Robert Buckland, the Justice Secretary, agree on that. He says it's the only way forward to deal with this impasse. When would you like to see that happen? And if it does, the bigger, de bigger um, issue, of course, with Brexit is does that mean that no deal remains off the table? If the e EU responds <coughs> by agreeing an extension of a number of months, uh, that means that Boris Johnson, in that time, can't push us uh, out through uh, a no deal Brexit. Given that, Labour will be calling for a general election once a no deal is off the table, because actually it's only a general election that can yes, sort out Brexit, because the Labour government would hold a public vote between a credible leave option and remain to finally sort this out, but also sort out all these Tory-created crises after nine years of austerity. It's hit living standards, public services and the rest of it. We don't want to leave the Tories in power at all. We need the Tories out so that people, for example, are no longer suffering due to universal credit, the housing crisis or anything else. So if the EU grants a three-month extension, I mean, we understand Donald Tusk has said they are considering an extension, they're not averse to that, um, then you'll back a general election? Well, let me make it clear. I want Boris Johnson and his Thatcherite mates out of Downing Street and out of power as soon as possible. I would like to see Boris Johnson gone by Christmas. I think the people I represent and people of, of this country deserve better than an unelected Prime Minister squatting in number 10 after he and his mates have run the show for nine years and made things worse for working people across this country. The sooner they're out, the better. OK, uh, thank you very much, Richard Bergen, uh, Shadow Justice Secretary. Thank you very much for talking thank to you. us on Breakfast.